Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today it's how to disconnect a Bosch dishwasher. Now maybe you're doing this because it's broken and you're taking it to the local recycling centre or maybe you're doing it because you've just bought a brand new one and you want to install that. Or maybe you're just moving properties. Before you uninstall the dishwasher, you need to make sure that there's no water inside it. Now there's two different ways to do this. The first way is you can actually start your dishwasher, let it run for about three to five minutes and then stop it and turn it off. Because the first thing that a dishwasher will do is drain any excess water that is laying about inside the bottom of it. So that is one way of getting rid of all the water. But obviously you have to stop it at the exact right time before it starts doing one of its washes. So if I just remove the filter here on this dishwasher, you can see that it's drained most of the water away. Now the other way to do it is just to use a sponge. So make sure that the dishwasher is unplugged, then remove the filter and then just take a sponge and just soak up any excess water and squeeze that into a bucket. Whilst I'm doing that there's a link above now about how to keep your dishwasher hygienically fresh. And just try and get it as dry as possible so that when you move it you don't get water going all over the place. So I'm just going to put the filter back in. And then we can start gently pulling out the dishwasher. Get a good grip on it and just start moving it outwards, sliding it side to side gently. But don't pull it out really, really quick because obviously at the back you've got the cold water mains feed and you've got the drainage hose. So just do it nice and gently and then have a look around the back. Make sure you're not pulling or stretching any of the hoses. This one is okay. Now there's a few different types of drainage. This one is a drainage system on a U-bend. But there's also ones where you've got a drainage hose connected to a sink unit. And I'll show you that version after this. So pull that drainage hose out and then put that into a bucket. Get rid of any excess water, give it a shake. Give that a good clean as well if you're going to be moving it. Don't worry if you're just going to be taking it to the local recycling centre. There's a link above now about what to do if your dishwasher is not draining water. And as I mentioned earlier, you may have a type like this where the drainage hose is connected to a sink drainage system underneath the sink. Now you may have a metal clip on it, this one does. I'm just going to get a pair of pliers on these. What you do is you squeeze that and that loosens it off. Then you can just manoeuvre it away from the rubber hose. There we go. Then get a good grip on the plastic pipework and on the hose and just start pulling that away. But make sure you've got your bucket ready because you will get some excess water out of this drainage hose. Now you may not have a clip on there, if not, it doesn't matter if it's a good tight fit. Fabulous. What we'll do now is Disconnect the cold water mains feed. Now you should have a tap which controls the mains cold water. You need to turn this into the off position, so turn that 90 degrees. Then start unscrewing the cold water hose which goes into the back of your dishwasher. Do that slowly in case you haven't turned the water off. Make sure you know where your main stopcock is just in case you have a problem with the pipework and you get a leak and then you can turn the water off. Get rid of any excess water in there. I've got a trolley to move this dishwasher. Now dishwashers are nice and light, they're not too heavy compared with washing machines which are super heavy. The hoses clip onto the back for easy transportation. And then this one is ready to be moved to a new house. Let's get the kettle on. If you're moving your dishwasher because it's broken and you're installing a new one, there's a link above now about how to install a brand new dishwasher. And after it's been moved, it's definitely going to be worth having a lovely cup of tea. I hope you found that useful. Up on this side, there's a video on what to do if your dishwasher is not draining water properly. And over on this side, there's a video on how to keep your washing machine hygienically fresh. Thanks for visiting my channel everyone, I really, really appreciate it.